Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you this super cute idea I had to make a skirt. I have a closet full of jeans that I don't wear anymore and I have a lot of fabric I needed to use so I just combined the two to come up with this. Here are my jeans before their transformation. First I laid them out and I drew a curved line from the hip of the right leg across the crotch and down to the left ankle. You can use a plate or a French curved ruler to help you or you can just eyeball it. Once you're done drawing your line, it will look something like this. Then use some really good sharp fabric shears to cut through both the front and the back along the curved line that you drew. You may need to take some tucks at the front and back seam so it will lay correctly. If you do this, check the curve and make sure it still has some nice shape afterwards. Now measure across the hip to where the curve starts to straighten out on the leg and multiply that by two. This will give you the width for the fabric you will be gathering. To get the length, fold the short leg over the long leg and measure from the cut edge down to the pant hem. Add one half inch for the gathered seam allowance plus one inch for the hem and that will give you the length the fabric needs to be. To get a good idea of what it would look like, I roughly inserted the fabric into position just to make sure that I liked it before I cut my precious fabric. And for reference, I used one yard of 54 inch wide fabric. To help the fabric fit into place, fold it in half and make a long curve along the top raw edge corners and cut it. You can try to match the curve of the pants exactly, but it's not really necessary. This is just to help it fit a little better. Now measure down the length you got from earlier plus the hem and seam allowance and cut the fabric to that measurement. Finish the edges with either a serger or a zigzag stitch and then put a basting stitch across the top. This is how you're gonna gather it. Now you need to find the middle of the fabric so you know where to attach it to the side at the hip. So fold the fabric in half and then put a little notch right where the middle is. This is where you're gonna attach it to the side seam at the hip. Now before I started gathering it, I found it easiest to pin it at the hip first. And then what I actually found easier is different than what I do here. I found it easier to pin the bottom down at the ankle, leaving enough room for the hem and then pinning the curved edge of the fabric to the curved edge of the denim that you had cut. And then I um, see like I leave the excess in between where I'm matching the curved spots up. And then after I got that all in place, I pulled the threads on the basting stitch to gather it. Once you have it pinned, then you can pull the threads and begin to gather it. And then just make sure you pin it using lots of pins as you gather it. And it's only going to be gathered across that thigh area of the front and back of the leg. Here it is all pinned in place across both the front and back of the thigh. Now I'm just showing you this because I want you to see that I didn't gather it down the leg. It's just straight. I just took the fabric straight down the side of both the front and the back of the leg, um, the longer leg, and just pinned it and left enough for the hem. Once I had it pinned in place, I went ahead and sewed it on using just a basting stitch in case I needed to remove it to make adjustments. I tried it on and made sure everything was sitting right and looking good and then I went ahead and put a permanent stitch in and hemmed it. And that is it. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I paired it with another Obi belt and you can find that tutorial on my channel too. For more DIY fashion inspo you can follow me on Instagram at Koitikmade or my blog Koitikmade.com. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.